Mr. Caillou with Israel United in Christ, all right? We out here to teach the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who we are according to this Bible, all right? Because a lot of us don't know. What do we think we are today, right? If I was to ask you your nationality, what would you say to me? You would say, you would say you're black. If I was to ask you, you would say you're black. What about you, sister? Some, some of us don't know. What about you, right here? What would you say that my nationality is? American. American, you see that? We got all these different names that, that, that we've been taught that we are. But what does the Bible say that we are? That's the question that I have for all of my people. What does the Bible say? The Bible says we're humans, right? We're all humans, but there's different races of people. Right. And there's one race that God chose to be above everybody. That's right. Right. That Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. We're going to read this out of the Bible so you know that I'm not speaking my own words to you. You understand what I'm saying? So that you know I'm not coming from my own vain opinion. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art and holy people. For what? For thou art and holy people. Read it again. For thou art and holy people. All right, what's it mean to be holy? To be holy. If something is holy and something is unholy, what's the difference between that thing that's holy? What, what's, what's different about it? It's what? It's clean. The other one is what? Dirty. It's unclean. You understand? So holy means to be separate. To, to, to say something that to say that something is holy means that it's different from the other thing. You understand? Read on. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. You ever heard that word sanctified? Right? Sanctified means to set something apart. That's the same thing as saying that something is holy. Right? The Lord says. Native Americans, right? We're the Israelites according to the Bible. God says that we are holy. Read on. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. Have chosen who? Thee. Have chosen the people you see on this sign right here. The so-called Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, right? If you call yourself a Puerto Rican today, a Dominican, an African American, right? A Haitian. You understand? All these words have been given to us by our slave masters. That's not our biblical name. Right? We're all one people. We come from the same nation. Right? Read on. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people what? unto himself. Unto who? Unto himself. Right. So that means that God said, I want that one right there, and I want it for me. I don't want any other rest. You understand? I just want this one right here set apart for me. This one's going to be mine. This is my favorite right here. That's what the Lord said. About who? About the Israelites, right? The, the, the people you see on the sign right here, the American black, the Puerto Ricans, the Cubans, the, the Indians, you understand? All of these uh, 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 people who have been gone through chattel slavery. You, understand? you know what chattel slavery is? What do you call this that you see right here on the sign? indentured servitude that you see on the sign? Or is this cattle slavery? Chattel, chattel, right? Chattel slavery, right? Right, that we built this whole country right. for yeah. free, yeah. you understand? Yeah. For free, that's not a regular slavery that you have. That's right. generation after generation after generation. That's you breeding slaves, you understand? That's chattel slavery right there, right? Read on. Above all people! What the Bible say? Above above everybody, bro. Everybody upon the face of this earth. The Israelites should be there. Today, when you examine your people, when you examine us today in society, are we above all people that you see on this earth? Black, Hispanic, Native Americans. Are we above all people? Or are we below? Or are we equal to them right now? Which one? Are we equal to them? We're below. And y'all been listening for a while, so some of this you may have already heard, right? Why are we below all people today? That's my question. Why, why, why are we below all people today? That's my question. Don't go nowhere, sister. Come back. We were taught wrong. What type of things were we taught that was wrong? Like religious, paying tithes in churches. Right, paying tithes in churches today, right? Believing in white God. What type of things did that white God teach us? The sign. Check the sign out. 
What type of things did that white God teach us? It taught us to sin. It taught us that sin was okay. You understand? It, it, didn't, it didn't even specify what was sin and what wasn't sin. So how can I get myself right if I don't know what to do or if I don't know what not to do? Teach. You understand? That's what this white God did for us. It did not tell us how to live our lives according to this Bible. Teach. Do what you got. First John chapter 3 verse 4. Read. Whosoever commit of sin, commit of sin. transgresseth also the law. Stop right there. The Bible says that whosoever commits sin, right, does what? Whosoever commit of sin, what does he do? Transgresseth also the law. What to transgress means to break. So whoever commits sin breaks the law. Do you know what? For sin is a now, transgression. I want you to pay close attention because it's about to tell you what sin is. Read that part again. For sin is a transgression of the law. What's sin again? The transgression of the law. What's sin again? The transgression of the law. So sin is breaking God's law. You understand? Eating pork is a sin because God tells you not to eat the swamp. You understand? God says, do not eat the, the catfish. Teach. The crab. Teach. The lobster. Right. You looking at me crazy? No, but you got Jesus on your shirt. But you looking at me crazy? Alright. But you understand what I'm saying? God says, don't eat what? God said, get that in Leviticus 11. We're going to read it out the Bible. Them scavengers. Do you eat those scavengers? I do. I do. Love them. Do you eat those scavengers? I love them. You love them. You love the scavengers. All right. You got to stop eating the swamp. You got to stop eating those scavengers. Good stuff. I understand. I understand. I would to learn some. It's the cheapest stuff. It's the, it's the cheapest stuff, right? It's the cheapest thing to eat. Is what they say. Right. Listen to this. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. The book of Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. Now, do you believe in God? All right. Do you believe that God will make a way for you? All the time. You believe that? Every day. I know he do. Every single day. I am a man out here stopping hard, and he always show me light. Said, don't give up, brother. Just keep on going. I got you. What's your name? My name is Ray. Ray. Ray, you believe God? God gonna make a way for you every single day. Kaya. Kaya. He's gonna do that for you. You understand what I'm saying? Every day he do that. Every day he wake you up. Read what you got. And the swan, though he devoured the hoof. You believe in this Bible, right? Alright, the Bible says, the Bible says the swan. You know what the swan is? What's a swine? A swan. A swan is a pig. All right. Do you eat the pig? Pork chop. You eat pork chop. Pigs feet. Uh, chitlins. chitlins. All of that. Read on. And the swan. The swan. The pig. The pork chop. The chitlins. Come on. Though he divided the hoof. Right. And be covered. No, hold on. Footed. Though he divided the hoof, it's giving you a, a, a description of what to look for in animals to consume. Right? So a, a, a pig does not fit this criteria. Right. Read on. We couldn't. Uh, oh, hold, he on. Hold, 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 hold your peace. Hold your peace. I'm going to let you speak. All right? Read on. And be cloven footed. And be what? Cloven footed. Come on. Yet he cheweth not the cud. He doesn't chew the cud. Right? A pig will eat anything. Yes. You understand? Yeah, you will. Right? I Animals that chew the cud. Hold on. An animal that chews the cud is like a right? cow. Right. Got what, no is pain, right? what is a cow? Right? What is what is a cow? What is a cow? What is a cow? What is a cow? I think one thing. It eats the grass. Right. You understand? It eats right. off the land. Will a will a cow eat yeah, you? you no, it will oh, not. No. You understand? If something dies of itself, is a cow going to eat that? No, it no it's not. It's, you understand? No, it's not going to do that. Right? Oh, but a pig will. Right? Piggy is it a eat you know it. So now, if a pig will eat anything, right? And that pig goes and eats anything. And then we go kill that pig and we eat it. Right? Now we, so if an animal died on the ground, on its own, you saw some roadkill, would you eat that? No, uh, I'm not you, down but listen, with the But listen, but you're eating, you're eating the animal that does that. That's unclean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. That's unclean. I'm no, I'm not that. arguing with you. I'm like teaching you the Bible. That's I'm right. I'm teaching you what the Bible says. I'm that. teaching but you what it says. Hold on. Everybody I want you to listen to the Bible. Read that again. The lamb. Hold on. 
Hold on, brother. Read the scripture again. And the swan, though he divided the hook and be, and be cloven footed, yet he showeth not the cut. Uh -huh. He is unclean He's to what? you. He's what? He is unclean. unclean to you. Of their flesh, ye should not eat. No, we should eat. You should not eat. If I'm broke, I should eat. No. We should not eat. Hunger. Matthew chapter Matthew six, verse thirty. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said that God would make a way for you. You believe that? You didn't just say that. Sure. You believe that, right? Sure. That's what you told me. Yeah. Sure. Sure. The book of Matthew chapter six, verse thirty. What for if God so clothed the grass of the field? What does the Bible say? What for if God so clothed the grass of the field? Well, who takes care of the grass that we see? <laughs> the grass that grows. Yeah. Who does it? Yeah. God does that thing. Come on. Right. Which is today is and tomorrow. Is today it might be here. Tomorrow what might happen to it? Gone. It's gone. Come on. And tomorrow right. it's cast into the oven. Right. Shall ye not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Right. So the same way that God takes takes care of the of the plants. You understand? The nature, the trees, these things that you see that might be here today and what tomorrow? Gone. Gone. Just like us. We could be here today. Gone. It's people that did not wake up today. Yeah. Why? Because God said that they, it's, their time is up. You understand? So the same way that God takes care of these things, he will take care of you. Do you believe that? I know that. Read on. No, you take care of me every day. Therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat? What shall we what? What shall we eat? What shall we what? What shall we eat? Right, so you should have a thought in your mind that says the Lord is not going to provide a way for me to eat clean food. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You shouldn't have the thought in your mind to say the Lord is not going to make a way for me right. to eat clean food. Read that part again. Therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat? Right, so the thought that comes into your mind should be, oh, I have to eat the scavengers mm. because I'm broke. Yeah. Because you believe in God, right? So you, right. hold on, hold on, hold on. They said if you pray to God, that we was raised on, listen, brother man, right. everything we was raised on is not good for us anymore. Give me uh, Matthew you chapter 18 verse 3. Everything that we was raised on is what? It's no good for us anymore. It's no good for us anymore. So now we got to eat plants. They said, oh, live. With your livestock. So we get because to a point where we have to do what? Royal or and all that other royal stuff. Or right? So was now royal you gotta right? eat the green Was it royal or right? Roy? What's your name? I'm R-A-Y. Right, right, right. right. Alright, right. Listen to this. The book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 3. And said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted. Except ye be what? Converted. Right, so we grew up. Right? Eating it, pork chops and stuff. Eating, why? Because that's what our parents had. <laughs> that's what we had. That's what we had. Right? So if you see your father beating your mother, mm. you understand what I'm saying? I'm going to jail. <laughs> I feel you. Right? Because you're you, you going to be Stand mad up. about that. Right? But I'm listen, going to jail, listen, man. listen to what I'm saying. If you see your father oh, beating your mother as a child, does that mean when you become an adult that you have to beat your wife? Oh, no. That means that you learn. And do what? what you see. And, and do you do and the same thing? Right. Do you do the same thing or do you change? You change. All right, read that again. Hold on. Switch. Hold on, read what you got. And said, verily I say unto you, except ye be- Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need you to pay attention to the words coming out of no, this book. I'm trying to tell you some real stuff. Listen to Without me. I'm trying to tell you some real stuff. Listen to me, bro. You trying to tell you some real stuff. I'm trying to teach you what will convert your soul. All right? I need you to pay attention to the Bible. Read. And said, verily I say unto you, except listen, ye listen, listen. be converted. Say it again? Ye be converted. What's it to be converted? Switch up. To switch up. That's what you would do if you saw your father beating your mother as a child. You would say, oh, I can't go that route. I'm gonna treat my wife different. You understand what I'm saying? Read that again. Hold on, read this. And verily I say unto you, except ye be converted. Except ye be converted, which but means except you change. change. Right. You change. Just because you saw something wrong, just because your father taught you the wrong example, doesn't mean that you continue to follow right. that wrong you example. Right? You're, you're old enough to make your own decisions when you right. become an adult. You understand? Now you're responsible for your actions. You can't blame that on your father. Right. You're going right. to be judged for the things that you do. Right. You understand? Right. So you have to do what the Bible says to do. Yeah. You understand?
Cause I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's how I'm broke, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.